Sean Diddy Combs accused of raping woman and filming assault in new lawsuit days after shock arrest. Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of raping a woman and recording the assault in another bombshell lawsuit. It has been claimed the rapper has faced multiple lawsuits in recent months amid abuse and sexual assault allegations spanning decades. He was arrested last week and later charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. The 54-year-old musician has been remanded to Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center after being denied bail twice and is said to be on suicide watch. According to new legal documents, another woman has come forward alleging that he violently raped her in 2001, alongside his head of security, Joseph Sherman. In the paperwork obtained by TMZ, Thalia Graves named Combs and his bad boy entertainment company, as well as Sherman, in the suit and claimed that she had suicidal thoughts following the alleged incident, which reportedly took place in New York when she was 25. The outlet reports that she was dating one of Combs' employees when he lured her to a meeting with him and Sherman, where they allegedly sequestered her and offered her a drink, likely laced with a drug that eventually caused her briefly to lose consciousness. Graves claims that she later woke up restrained when they sexually abused and violated her, mercilessly raping her anally and vaginally. Combs entered the room naked, the documents, via Rolling Stone, read. He then bent Graves over the table, causing her feet to dangle above the floor, forcefully held her down and Anali penetrated her without her consent. Graves was unable to move, totally overpowered physically, in addition to being drugged and bound. She alleged that Combs ignored her screams and continued the assault and hit her head into a pool table when she attempted to flee. After losing consciousness again, she allegedly awoke to Sherman slapping her and forcing her to perform oral sex. Graves says she later woke up naked on a sofa and intense pain with burning sensations in her vagina and anus and bruises on her wrists and face. In the documents, she alleged that Combs and Sherman threatened use their power to ruin her life if she ever spoke out, and so she remained silent and didn't report the incident. She claimed that she received psychological treatment in the wake of the attack and considered taking her own life, insisting that she continues to suffer severe depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. Graves also alleged that she learned that Combs and Sherman had recorded a video of her horrific rape and shown it to multiple men to publicly humiliate and degrade her and her current partner. The publication reports that she is suing Combs, Sherman, and Bad Boy for damages, but it is not clear how much she is seeking. Sherman has denied wrongdoing and told David Daily Mail. I know for a fact that this is a money grab. I've never seen this lady. Don't have any tape of her like she says I have. I've never seen her. I never did anything with her. I don't know none of this. I don't even know this lady. I'm being crucified and tortured for something I had nothing to do with me and me and Mr. Combs was not even friends. We had no relationship whatsoever. I have not been around Diddy for 24 years, he added to the publication. The suit comes after the musician was taken into custody in New York this month following a string of sexual assault allegations made against him. A federal indictment obtained by CNN was unsealed shortly after and alleges that Combs engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of abuse toward women and other individuals and that he assaulted women by, among other things, striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them on multiple occasions from 2009 onwards.